tell me, tell me, man, like just a little bit, you know, to start, um, you know, where you're from, you know, how you got, how you got here. <clears throat> yeah. So to be light with it, I'm born in Newark, New Jersey, but raised in East Orange, New Jersey. And I also give credit to New York because New York is responsible for a lot of my character because New York is just a place that st stands out with everything they do, especially in the 90s. So I, I credit New York and New Jersey overall. And yeah, man, but British Jamaican. You know, my mother was born in England, raised in Jamaica, and most of my household was Jamaican culture, per se, you know? And um, yeah, but grew up with Haitian people, grew up with a lot of Caribbean people, because back then all the Caribbean people stuck together. And then um, that's pretty much it. Back in the day, I was born 1985, AC, after crack. So after crack, so you was a part yeah. of that crack era? Yes, most of my family died of uh, AIDS from sharing needles and um, a lot of my family's heroin addicts. And um, yeah, the, the culture was different then. It was crazy. A lot of zombies walking the streets and stuff like that. And now we, you know, um, to some degree we passed it, but you know, drugs have enhanced themselves through different methods now, the fentanyl, blah, blah, blah. But I grew up around people selling it, people using it. Back then it was really one or the other. Yeah. You know, cause it, I feel like there's two sides of the coin with the crack, crack era. You got the people who was like, oh man, like you can go outside and make a thousand a day. I wish I can go back to that. Then you got the people who really suffered. Then you got people like me was like, damn, the crack, the crack era put a lot of our people in jail or a lot of people died. What side do you kind of stand on? What you think? All of it. All, all of it is, is correct. It, it made a lot of people rich. It destroyed a lot of homes overall. And um, yeah, a lot of my, like I said, I wasn't the only one. A lot of my friends' families were dying of just, AIDS and stuff at the time, just because it's the sharing the needle thing, everybody was doing it back then. Um, but what you see in paid in full is real as well. A lot of people were getting rich off of it, you know. One of my uncles went to jail with $6 million in cash on him, you know, but guns too and stuff like that, you know, but he was like killing cops and doing all types of stuff. Um, it was real ruthless. It's still ruthless now, you know, except everything just on camera. Um, it's ruthless, you know, when I was 12 years old, I was kidnapped um, in school. So every time, when I saw the Paid in Full movie with the young boy and he got his finger cut off and they, they really killed him in real life. Sonny? Yes. Um, I, I was like, damn, that could have been me because it was like that at that time. Nobody cared if he was a kid or not, you know, everybody just, but back in those days too, family would send you on your way to school, they'll put money in your bag and then you, you're, doing trans, you're transporting the money different trap houses now you call them a trap house whatever things like that on the way to school but that was everybody you know it was to the point i didn't know that that wasn't life you know i used to think everybody lived like that you know until i until like the fujis got better at life like wealthier and then we went to like more better parts of new jersey but so i get the kids who can be like yo that's all i ever know and i didn't know nothing else you know so you're telling me well first the crazy the uncle went to jail with six men in cash what happened to all the cash I guess they took it, the cops. Mm. I was a kid then. But back then, they, everybody was making a lot of a lot of money. So you think a lot of a lot of hip hop was funded through crack money? Yeah, yeah, without a doubt. That that to this day, most rappers are funded through drug dealers or scammers. In the beginning, till they get to a label, that that's a fact right now. Mm. You know, a lot of drug dealers be. I mean. It, not that I know, because I, I ain't around him, but look at Jay Prince. Look at Birdman. You know, Birdman, you know, Bird is a slang for Coke. Mm -hmm. So Birdman sold drugs to fun hit to every, everybody. That Dr. Dre to it. I mean, not Dr. Uh, Suge Knight to a degree. Him being you know, with the, the blood, blah, blah, blah. I mean, in, almost in any industry, it's hard to not be involved without the underground, the, um, without corruption to that regard. Mm. You know, now it's you, impossible. Cause, since, cause I, cause I, I got a glimpse of that too. So it's like, yo, the big, cause I, I see it now, bro. A lot of OGs, they, they, you know, stop doing what they're doing, and they just find an artist, throw them in the game, and it seems like that's kind of where they park their money at. So do you yeah. think, um, you know, how do you feel about people knowing that, but they kind of still keep letting it happen, and we see a lot of artists going to jail, but then you got OGs out there like, yo, we got to stop the violence, got to stop this, but y'all putting drug money into these artists and pushing the narrative about the negative, you know, gangster rap music or drill music. Yeah, and so. So one thing I learned in life, the people who put up a certain image and they like kind of like an, are enforcing this image, they be the ones doing the total opposite. So it's like Pablo Escobar, at least the narrative he was trying to put out there was, I do right by the community, I give back to the community, 
da, 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 da. I remember Pablo Escobar ran for president at one point. But, but I love how Narcos on Netflix, when he had died in season two, they said, they, they showed what he really did. He blew up planes, he killed kids, he had explosions all over Colombia, you know? He caused tons of violence to people. But, um, but they were showing how his mother was like, oh, all the positive he did. So I thought that was such a great edit of like, she's talking all the positive, but they're showing all the negative. And that's mostly everybody. Look, look at Diddy, he talking about love, love, love. But deep down, he was very hateful to at least Cassie, you know? Um, I worked for Russell Simmons, not to send shots at him, but I, you know, when I met him, he was eating fried chicken. But in the public, he telling people he a vegan. You know what I'm saying? And he's doing yoga. But then and women are saying he raped them. You know what I'm saying? So people say these things, but in reality, behind closed doors, it's something else. So you just learn like, oh, that's just a part of the show.